What is up, my good friends? It is your old pal Closet Gamer. We are back again for some more Age of Engineering. We are on episode 19 now, my friends, and I've just done a little bit of fishing. Never done fishing before in Minecraft. Uh, never really played vanilla that much. Uh, fishing is quite fun, actually. It's a bit like fishing in World of Warcraft, if you've ever done that. You just sort of watch the um, float and then click it every time it does something. It bobs up and down, and then a little fish flies in your face and you catch it. It's great. Uh, so I've got six fishes. Uh, the reason I'm actually catching fishes is uh, twofold. Uh, so I like fishing anyway, um, but also we need uh, our thermal centrifuge, which if you remember from last time, uh, we need to build our algorithm separator, and to do that we need to uh, separate something, I can't remember what it was, but it comes from uh, nether quartz anyway, uh, and to actually uh, create our mining laser for our thermal centrifuge we need advanced uh, circuits, which is uh, empowered redstone crystal, which we can make I think. What have we got? Uh, rose revs. So we got that. We got that, and we got that. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, but we also need uh, the blue one. No, oh, wrong one. We also need the blue one, which is empowered palace uh, crystal, uh, which takes prismatine shard, uh, cobalt ingle, uh, blue slime crystal, and raw fish. So I think actually, I can make a block. So I might just get nine fish. Actually, I only need one fish. In one fish but eight million RF. Well that's good actually because first things first, let's have a look downstairs and I want to show you guys some stuff. Uh so I have been oh I've got my fishing rod. My fishing rod's in the floor. Okay. Right, so prepare yourself, because look at this. We now have eight. I've made another four oil generators uh and the relevant pipe work. Uh, but my good friend uh, Fallen Off The Grid told me about something to help these run a bit faster. So at the moment they're ticking over at 40 RF. But if I use a fermenting barrel from Actually Additions, it will turn those 40 RF into about 100 RF per tick. Uh, just by uh, fermenting the oil that comes in, the canola oil that comes in, into just normal oil. And these are pretty cheap as well. So it's any logwood and then a wood casing. And a wood casing is... Uh, any plank wood, normal sticks, and then any log wood. So that's pretty cheap, really. It's just made out of wood, a nori crystal, and some canola. So I'm going to go and grab like two of these, I think. So I'm going to get a couple of iron, and the rest is just wood, really. Uh, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Let's grab some bits and pieces. Let me get rid of my fishing rod out of here. So let's like take all of this, some of this, and then take some sticks as well. Let's get these fermenting barrels bashed up real quick. Uh, so a couple of these. Maybe like three. Add one, need three. Well, I'll make three anyway. I'm sure I'll use them eventually. I need to get some canola. I need some nori crystal. So let's grab a couple of iron as well. Two of those. Uh, and I think, do I have some canola? Yeah, I've got some canola. Two canola. All right. Let's get these in front of our super special Dr. Evil. Can't remember what I called it last time. Secret moon laser. Yeah, secret moon laser. Nice. Okay. Like... Uh, so then like this nice two fermenting barrels now this uh, I was quite impressed with these uh, by looking at some tutorials and stuff uh, it looks quite interesting uh, and also I've been mucking about with my bees I'll show you what I've been doing with my bees in a minute actually uh, but first let's get these guys set up because these are really going to change uh, a lot they're really going to improve our power situation tenfold I think Put one there, one there, and they should start filling up with oil. Yes, oil, and then turning it into so it takes in canola oil and it starts turning it into normal oil. So then, as that filters into our yes, yeah, see, look, it's gone up to 100 RF per tick. Nice, well, these are pretty quick, actually. I mean, that's not too bad, is it? I mean, it's eating it as quickly as it's going in there, but once we get uh, depending on our power situation at the moment, I'm not sure what's what's using our power up. I suppose it's just charging up its internal buffers, actually. Charging up its internal buffer? Yes, yeah, so this one is. So it's filling up its internal buffer and it's still going down a little bit. So I wonder what's using that up. And this one doesn't seem to be doing anything. I mean, maybe that's not getting the oil that it needs. This one's probably taking all the oil, isn't it? Hmm. I wonder if I can distribute that better. I wonder if there's a dip, as if there's a better way to distribute it. Maybe not put these in line. Maybe put them um, on top. Hmm. I don't know. 
I don't know how this works. It probably, I mean, it probably works like a normal pipe where they all go straight into these first and then these second. So these are getting a bit starved at the moment, which is not the best. Um, this has got plenty of... What I might need is another press, actually. I might need to split this. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Maybe let's get another press quick. So for another canola press, well, that's easy as well. Yeah, let me just, let me quickly make one of these off cam and then I'll be back. Right, so, a nice, another little canola press. Right, where should we put this guy? Uh, we kind of want it to be, well, let's just put it in line with this uh, and then move this one over here. So this is going to need power as well um, and it's also going to need some pipes. So let's go and grab some more transfer nodes. And I was looking at the Ender I.O. ones as well, actually, and you can actually see the fluid inside it, which I think is pretty cool. Let's get more, a couple more of these guys. Uh, a couple, maybe one connector, and then maybe one of these as well. Okay, let's go and get this all plugged in. Uh, and I think the next, uh, the next issue that we're going to face is we're going to run out of canola pretty quick. Uh, because it's going to drain, like, rapid. That to there. That one is there. They're going up. Is it getting canola? This one's getting canola. Let's split like that. Is that going to work? Is it getting more canola? Hmm. Seems to be starved of canola. Alright, let's go and see what's going on with our farms. And don't forget as well, we need to make our cloches as well. So the farms are only a temporary measure at the moment anyway uh, just until we can get all the stuff sorted for our cloches which we're going to do today as well I think um, might be might be on the cards yeah so canola is running short right so garden cloches it is then today I think so we need to make our thermal centrifuge which is why we've got the fish anyway um, we also need to make uh, algorithm separator so let's put some of this junk back uh, stuff we don't need. Let's get these back where they belong, not randomly placed all over the place. We'll put our fluid pipes back in there. We don't really need those at the moment. And so pipes can go. I don't know where I've got these buttons from. Uh, and then this wood casing can stay in there as well. Right, let's get these nicely tidied away. And you may have noticed, the more observant of you, that I have this nice lumber axe. So I can chop down whole trees now, which is pretty cool. Right, now, before we go on to uh, building our garden cloches, which is the objective for today, um, I've got my apiaries, and I've also got some common drones that have uh, come out of some breeding that I've been doing. So, over as I've been doing other things, I've been taking my honey uh, and putting it through my centrifuge and extracting honey drops so I can actually grab some of these commons that I've just got, so this one. I've got a common queen over here as well. Common princess, sorry, I should say. Uh, any more? Any of these? Yeah, I've got some decent ones, though. Oh, oh, two more commons there, nice. Right, okay, so the idea is that you breed commons with commons, uh, and they give you a mutation chance. Um, so let's see what these commons are. So let's get our bee Eliza, uh, and I haven't got enough honey... You. Oh, I've not got 19 actually, that's pretty good. Right, so first let's have a look at our princess and see what she is. So she's a common forest. So it would be good if she was a common common. What is this guy? He's a common meadows. And what is this guy? He's a common forest as well. And then what is this guy? He's a common meadows, okay. So from the way I understand it, the way it works, is if you breed a common common, so a common uh, thoroughbred with a common common, then the only thing that you can get is another common common. Uh, if you breed a common meadows with a common common, then you can get a common meadows or you can get a thoroughbred meadows, which is not what you want because then that's a backward step. Uh, that's how I understand it anyway. So it's a bit of a risk that we run by breeding this princess. Uh, but she might give us a thoroughbred common. So let's have a look and see what it's best to breed her with. 
Which is a common forest. So if we breed her with a common forest grown, maybe that could work. Let's try it. Not going to do us any harm. Uh, and then let's bung another Meadows Princess into this one. Okay, and then let's dump just dump these bees in there. And that should be it for the moment. I'll fiddle around with this some more off cam. Um, it's not really the most exciting thing watching bees breed. Um, but I do want to get into it a bit more. It is quite interesting. Oh, I've got another apiary there. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna put Meadows Princess and another drone in there, I think. So let's put those in there. Okay, right, so uh garden cloche, talk to me. So if you remember from last time, we need our garden cloche, we need to make this farmer, uh, and to get the farmer we need a basic and advanced greenhouse, which takes large tanzanite, which requires an algorithm separator. Algorithm separator requires a uh, power diamantine crystal, which in turn requires lithium dust, which is in turn uh, obtained from a tiny part of lithium dust, which in turn is extracted using nether quartz uh, in a thermal centrifuge. So we need to make a thermal centrifuge. So thermal centrifuge, not too bad. Uh, I do need to make a couple of machines to help me get to the point where I can make this guy though. Um, I need to make this uh, mining laser uh, and to make the mining laser I need the advanced control circuit which is all of this stuff. Uh, I will need to go and hunt some slime at some time so I need some slime crystals and I need blue slimy mud but I need to find some blue slime first of all I'm not sure what colour that slime was that we hunted last time but we might need to go back to slime island uh, okay so we need to get some slime we also need to get this energy and dust as well uh, and energy and dust is redstone and diamond dust diamond dust we need to put in a macerator mm, so I need to macerate diamonds I really don't want to be macerating diamonds Okay, well let's just macerate one diamond and see if we get more than one dust. Uh, because I don't know if that recipe is a bit bugged, but if not, we're going to have to go and find some more diamonds because we've only got four. So let's see what it does. Take this one diamond, tell me what you're going to do. One. Oh, God. Right, we need to go and find some more diamond. Um, I don't know whether to use my super duper much more fun to use vertical digger or just go digging around in the mining world i think i'm just going to go digging around in the mining world and then i'll be back i mean look at this mess and there's a witch and a creeper sort of stood there waiting for me do i want to tussle with these guys you know what fuck these guys charge and then fuck you witch that's right, you can chuck your potions at me, I don't care. Did she drop anything? Gunpowder, nice. That's from the uh, from the creeper. Oh, bit more diamond. Sweet. Wow, it's a big node as well. What size is this? That was quite a lot. How many is that? 15, nice. Oh yes, double diamond! Right, that's three lots of diamond we've found this time. That is bloody good going, my friends, isn't it? Huh? Uh, and then let's like dig, dig just a little bit above it, just in case there's any lava around here. Any more? Right, 27 friggin' diamonds. That is pretty good going, I think. That's a bit of a lucky haul, and some lead as well. Cool, right, look at all this shit. So, a very successful mining run, I think, that was. Uh, 27 diamonds, uh, tons of iron, tons of redstone, a uh, little bit of lead, uranium as well, that's pretty cool. Um, right, so, uh, I will head to uh, back to our house, and I'll get these diamonds in the macerator, and I will see you in a minute. Right, goodbye, beautiful diamonds. See you soon. Oh no, not three. Shit, not three. Oh, just one. Okay, let's put these other bits and pieces away. Uh, I'll unload my inventory and then I'll come back. Right, so that's our diamond dust all nicely crunched up. I'm a bit gutted about that diamond, to be honest. I really don't want to waste it. 
Uh, but I suppose it's not really wasted, is it? Um, what also I've also done is um, I've gone and got myself a uh, stone tough tool rod because I'm going to update my hammer a little bit to give it the, I think it's called the Petromore perk. I'm going to chuck some Ardite on there um, and I'm going to put my tough stone tool rod there and I'm going to make a mould and I'm going to upgrade my hammer a little bit. So at the moment I've got a, a, a cobalt shaft for my hammer, uh, but this time I'm going to go for an Ardite shaft. Probably just six in there will do the trick. Okay, let's see if this works. It should give me the Petromorph perk, I think. Petromorph, your tool loves stone. It literally wants to absorb it. The tool mines faster as it wears out, but does less damage. Nice, okay, cool. Uh, so we want to do that, and we also want to repair it to give us that. Nice, so that should be pretty much good. Um, I don't think that's going to be any more... We have to repair that very often now. We mine so much stone uh, that it should just carry on repairing itself. Let's get rid of some of this crap that we've picked up on the way. Right, I know that I need uh, some redstone and I don't think I need lapis at the moment. So let's chuck that in there. Let's get rid of this wall as well. I've got nowhere to store anything. Everything's full up. I need to make some more drawers actually, I think. Right, okay, so where were we? We were looking at our centrifuge. Uh, and to make our centrifuge, we need our laser. And to make our laser, we need an energy crystal, which needs energy and dust, which is diamond dust and redstone. So let's quickly make that, because it's got to go in the compressor, I think. Nice. Energy and dust. Four diamonds down the pan. Gone. Right, so that goes in the compressor. So let's wang that in the compressor now. Um, I've put some other bits in the compressor. I've got some advanced alloys in there. Nice. We'll put those in here. So this is like my bean compressed chest over here so I should probably put an ejector upgrade on there at some point which will be quite cool uh, that's that one uh, so I need to do these next so I need to go and get some slime from somewhere where do I find this guy from prismatine shard atomic reconstructor it's just near the quartz now bit of a problem I think because I think I've not got many nether quartz left I've got three I need to go and get some more it's pretty common in the, in the nether, isn't it? Nether quartz, so I'll just go and grab some of that at some stage. But I think I can make a block of these just by using uh, one set of materials. Yeah, so just one set of materials for a prismatine shard. So I only really need one blue slime crystal, uh, and then we're good to go. Right, so I'm going to run off uh, and try and find a slime island. Uh, I'm going to see which one, whether this was blue actually. I'm not sure if it was blue. I can't remember. It might have been green. Um, but I'll come back once I get over there. Okay, so up the top of the ladder of Slime Island we go. I was almost ganked by a couple of very nasty skeletons a minute ago, trying to shoot me as I was climbing up here. Um, luckily they didn't get me, but I did see the arrows sort of whizzing past my head, which wasn't great. Uh, I wasn't very happy about it. So to me, I think this might be green slimy grass, blue slime blocks. Can we use these? Blue slime balls. Now, let's have a look and see what we can do. Can we do it with this? So it is literally only blue slimy mud, but I can make, ah, I can make blue slimy mud with slime balls and sand and dirt. Right, okay, so let's farm some of this up. Is my shovel better for this stuff? Yes, it is. Right, we'll get loads of this stuff. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna need, but I don't really wanna keep coming back to Slime Island. Bit of a shitter. And it's really annoying and really bouncy at the same time. Right, so that should be plenty. 34 slime blocks, uh, blue ones, and 21 green ones. Yeah, that should be all right, shouldn't it? Should be plenty. Look, my um, my old ladder has turned into a dirt ladder. Nice timing. Did you see that? That was mad skills. There we go, right. Okay, let's get back home. Oh, look, we can see the temple from here as well. Cool, cool. Look at that. Right, let's head back home. There's Larry's little friend. Uh, and I'll see you guys in a sec. Right, okay, we're back home. So let's see about making these uh, slimy crystal doodars. Uh, blue slime crystals, blue slimy mud. So I need some sand and some dirt and then some slime balls. Or just sand and dirt and then congealed slime box. Okay, no problem. So how many of these should we make? Let's just make, uh, make four for now. Some of this dirt. 
like this. Nice. Okay, then this bung knees in our furnace. So I need to upgrade our furnace uh, fairly soon. I'm going to turn it into the next one up. Uh, and I can't remember what it is. Uh, but we can do that, I think, at some stage. Maybe not today, though. Maybe uh, next episode. Right, grab that one. Got the fish. Got that. Got that. Now, uh, what else did we need? There's the fish uh, and cobalt as well. Right, okay, cobalt. Get one cobalt. Uh, and then let's get... Let's make a block. Now, I've got some of these crystals somewhere. Can I see them? No. Okay, well, it's going to have to be lapis then. Let's do it the lapis way, shall we? Shall we? Right, lapis lazuli block. Right, I think... What does this do? Does this just give us two? Oh, it gives us nine. Okay, cool. Right, okay. So we put the blocks in the centre, the fish around the outside, the prismatine shards, the cobalt ingots... And the slime shards. So I might just get one more of these prison team shards. And then we can make two of these guys. Because uh, I know we're going to need them in the future. So let's chuck that one in front of there. That there like that. And then let's bang them in the empower up. So one there. One of those guys there. And I think uh, what we can do is. We can automate. Uh, or do early automation of these empowers. Using just hoppers I think. Then the fish, Prismatine Shard, and the fish. Oh, it's blue. Nice. A nice blue colour. And our power is draining rapidly. How's our canola production doing? Not too well. We've got loads of oil, but we're not actually making any RF. Why is this not working? Why is this here? I didn't put that there. Get rid of this. Is this working? Canola oil in there. Uh, maybe it's because there's like a little bit of canola oil in there. So I think I fixed it. I think what the problem was, um, was that some of these were like full of two millibars of uh, canola oil and had an uneven amount of energy in them. So obviously when it burns a full stack, uh, it probably burns a set fixed amount. And because it, it's only got like 200 or 20 uh, millibars of canola oil in it. It wasn't burning the full stack. So what I've done, um, I'm going to disconnect them from the power completely. Um, and I'm going to wait for them to fill up all the way to the top. And then I'm going to connect them up. So this one's good. So this one can be disconnected now. Now I'm disconnected completely. Right, so all three of these are completely full up now. Uh, I'm not sure what's left in the pipe, if anything. But I'm going to completely disconnect it. Uh, and completely disconnect it, and then I'm going to move this across. Right, so now, if I take these into the power and I drain all this power, these should completely empty. I mean, that's the that's the theory anyway. So let's see if that works. Let's see if these completely empty. Because they need to be completely empty before you switch your uh, fuel source, I, th I believe, anyway. So let's see if this works. Let's hook this one up. Hook this one up hook this one up because they should drain pretty quick uh, so it's burning through uh, each burn takes away 50 so that's definitely going to burn completely all through that entire lot now we just need to do the uh, same with the other side completely drain them and then completely let them fill up again with the right type of oil all right this one's completely empty this one's completely empty completely empty completely empty good right so now uh, our fermenters can go back down so that should start filling up. Nice. And then we just need to reconnect these back up. There, to there, to there. Nice. 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 Problem solved. Cool. I don't know how they got an uneven amount of nodal oil in them in the first place. Rather odd. But anyway, at least whilst that was doing, it gave us a bit of a distraction whilst we got our blocks going. Cool. Okay, so let's get another one of these guys going. Might as well. We've got the power. Uh, we've got the time. We've got the power, got the time, but we haven't got the cobalt, unfortunately. I thought I grabbed two. Grabbed two? I grabbed one. Maybe two. I don't know. That. That. The fish. And then the cobalt. Oh. Right, so that's our uh, last 
block done. Uh, I've also had a little bit of a fiddle around with our power setup. Um, so what I realised was once we started draining power was uh, we're not getting the oil through quick enough. So I've got another, I've got like six fermenters set up now and this massive, uh, <laughs> massive ridiculous looking pipe network. But what it means is our oil generators are getting a steady flow of oil now and they're getting just more than what they actually need to run at full tilt. So it completely drained all of our power. Uh, these are all full now actually, we're getting there. Um, so our oil generators are just filling up their internal buffers. Uh, but what they are getting is enough oil that they're going to fill up right to the top and they're going to get a steady amount. Now, in terms of oil coming out of these guys, it's pretty good. I mean, these are full up pretty much. Uh, and it's just processing quick enough that it's supplying these with enough oil to keep them ticking over at full tilt. But I think it's roughly, it's probably uh, one fermenter per oil generator to keep it going. So as I expand this, I'm going to have to add more fermenters there. But these presses are actually doing all right. I think these are run out of canola now. Never mind. So I've added a quick layer of uh, automation to our uh, Empower actually. Um, you can do it with these hoppers um, and this is going to keep this stocked up with uh, the bits and pieces that I need. Uh, but it's just a quick layer of automation that's going to keep this going. Uh, probably don't need it quite at this stage. However, as we go forward, we're going to need a lot of this stuff going. Um, so these are stacked up with, and there's nothing in that, but there's some stuff in this one. It should just go straight out. Once this is done, it will go into this chest. So I've got this Empower Redstone Crystal Block here ready for me. It doesn't look the best, uh, <laughs> especially this bit. I'm, these ones don't look too bad, but this one looks a bit shit because it's kind of in the way of the animation, but never mind. Excellent, Empowered Redstone Crystal. So we've got 18 of each. That should keep us going for a little while, shouldn't it? I know we're going to need a lot more uh, advanced electronic circuit as we go forward. So we should now be able to make our mining label last. That's uh, so a bit more glowstone. Two of those. In fact, let's just make four advanced circuits because I know we're going to need them. Uh, we've got some advanced cir normal circuits in there. Oh, okay. So now let's go for this. This. Nice. So two advanced circuits. Energy crystal and just need some advanced alloys. Four of these guys. And that should be. Once we get a little bit more redstone, that should be enough to do it, I think. Nice, mining laser, bloody last. Right, what else do we need? We need this advanced machine casing. I think I've got some of those. Some of those? No, I've got iron casings. Right, so let's quickly bash one of these together. Uh, right, so iron plates. I think I made some. Did I make some? I thought I made some. Right, iron plates go in. Uh, and we need carbon plates as well, four of those. One, two, three, four of those. Uh, and advanced alloys was two advanced alloys and some steel plates as well. Two of those and then steel plates times four. Two, three, four. As these iron plates. Got enough, yeah. Iron plates. Basic machine casing and then advanced machine casing. Nice. Okay, cool. And then just normal iron and then some coils. Grab some more iron out of here before it all goes. Thank you. I think we've got some coils. Got some copper cables in there. Okay. Copper cables. Coils, we need four. Uh, one, two, three, four of those guys. Now uh, we'll chuck the bucket on the floor for the moment because we don't really need that. So, electric motor, some tin casings we need. Let's chuck the sand in there so that can get turned into glass. Iron casing, tin casing. So, electric motor, one of those. Yes, I have got what I need. Nice, thermal centrifuge at last. Christ. Now, this is a uh, tier 2 item, I believe. So this can go uh, straight out of here. Now, 
that's going to look a bit shit. Uh, but for the moment, I'm just going to... Do I want to? Do I want to just wang it up there? It can come straight out of the CSU. Um, hmm. For the moment, until I can figure out a better solution, it can go up there. Right, okay. Thermal centrifuge. Now, I need to go to the nether, and I need to get some more um, nether quartz, because I've got none. I've got, like, two. So, let's quickly whiz off to the nether. Let's quickly drop off some of this stuff. Uh, and then I'll go to the nether, and then I'll be back. Before we do that, what I want to do is quickly stick this lever on here. Uh, so that this starts to get power. Now, it's not actually getting any power. Okay, um, let's grab our wrench. Because I don't want to destroy this brand new thing. That I need. Sure. Um, let's get rid of this. Let's put it there. Right, that's getting power now. Good. Okay. And then put in a redstone signal next to it. Should make it start heating up. Yes, it's heating up. Right, cool. So that will be heated up by the time we get back. Uh, and hopefully um, our solar panel on the roof is enough to keep that going. Along with all of our other stuff that's heating up. But I'll go to the never off cam anyway. And we'll wrap up the episode there actually. So uh, in the next episode we'll get our algorithm separated and sorted out. And hopefully get our garden cloches. So I will see you guys next time.